All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Klaus Fazarm. Rubbish. Rubbish. It's not rubbish. This is excellent. Uh, the seasons are moving on quickly here. I've got my speed up. Though I, I just loaded, so it's not up. There we go. I've been running at 120 to get the growth stage over with. Uh, we are in the fourth day of summer, so in about two days here, uh, game-wise, we should be able to harvest. And uh, let's take a look at our ground. Let's see. Do we still have the hand tool? Nope. Shizzle stick. Do I have the? I think we have to buy it, so I'm going to buy the hand tool. Yeah, I don't have it. Uh, there's no sound. That's weird. Hold on a second, folks. All right, so let's look in the shop. There is... I think it's under miscellaneous. There's a hand tool that we can buy. It's like a little computer. There we go. How we use it, though, I don't know. Okay. Wheat. Does this does this have any effect on how we harvest? Well, well how do I read these? It doesn't have any effect on. <laughs> so it just maybe for later. <laughs> the developers were thinking ahead. It's more for grass. And it's oh, for okay, like how wet the grass is. It's one hundred percent fertilized, twelve percent watered or dry. Okay, well, I bought that for no reason then, but still, it's pretty cool. So we have our wheat field. We have our larger barley field. The wheat's going to make the malts. The barley is going to make the, you know, and maybe if we get enough money together and we need more money to make more, we can buy a neighbor's wheat field that already has uh, wheat on it and then turn around and sell the field later. We'll see. Evil. These are the hops. I thought I'd share these with you guys. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look how huge those are. They're super tall. They're kind of goofy. Like, when you walk through them, it's, they're pretty low res. But whatever. I mean, and we knew. I kind of, I've seen the hops before in 17. They haven't changed them since 17, so. Yeah, they're a bit disappointing. But anyway, that is what hops look like, and they're super. I mean, just look how tall they are. You can see it next to me. But we'll be harvesting those. I don't think they get any taller than that. They might change color, but I doubt it. Because these are showing the color that they're going to be. I have a feeling those are also the color that they're going to be. Uh, off camera, I did go ahead and... Um, well, first of all, I think I told you guys we had to change this truck out. But I did um, deliver some pallets to the brewery. So there's no more pallets in production. Um We'll see how many we make and if I need more, but I've got quite a load of pallets in here. Um, that looks like plenty. I don't know how much we're going to make, and like I said, we might need to get more, but we'll see. Um, and we got lots of pallets at the malts facility. I wish you could reuse the pallets. I think maybe they do go in when you bring malts over. Maybe they'll go to the brewery, but I don't think that they do. We'll have to see. Oh, there's three more stacks on the truck. Uh, if I need to make more, I'll make more, uh, but I'm going to try to, you know, save the f the forests. Uh, in fact, during this time of the year, maybe I should plant some trees um, just to have more. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to run down to... Uh, to the shop and pick up... Uh, uh, planter and some 20 saplings and I'll probably plant more than that but we'll start with those 20 and uh, I'll plant those and maybe I'll probably do 40 saplings all together so um, we'll plant them come back here pick up another 20 and so we're going to go ahead into the forestry equipment and we're going to pick up one of these we're just going to we're just going to rent it lease it and I'm going to grab a front weight because I definitely need that. Uh, I'm going to get a, a class weight. There we go. And we're going to pick up a pallet of saplings. And we're 
going to go ahead and plant these. By the time I get there, it's going to be sunset. I've got, once again, we're going to get through the next through next two days fairly quickly. So I don't think we have to have a weight on the front of this because this is a pretty big tractor. But it's probably wise just to do it. How many trees do you think we've cut down? I don't think we've cut down 20 trees. We've done maybe 10 trees, 15 trees, and maybe tw maybe 20. I don't know. But we're going to plant 40, so uh, we'll go to the area where we chopped them up and plant more. And I think after this year's over, once we have money from our harvest, I probably will end up buying a JCB um, and, uh, like, a little skid steer, and we'll... We'll grind some stumps. Though I could just get the front grinder unit for these. But the, I've noticed that the equipment, since the last patch, uh, the semi-trailers and a lot of the equipment, they automatically flash when you drive. Um, like this has that flashing light on there. Um, whoa. So, anyway. Bad driving on my part. I almost feel like next time we should maybe plant some of the stuff nearer to the brewery. <laughs> Homegrown brewery trees. All right, so I'm going to continue doing this, guys, and I will see you in a few moments. It took me a while in the dark to find the spot where I cut all the trees down. We're going to plant some trees here and do this all over again. I probably should, like I said, clear those out, but I'm being lazy. Nope, I don't want to lower the weight. I want to lower that. There we go. One sapling, two saplings, three, four. Well, wow, I plants them really close together. I planted a sapling in the stump of the last one. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get a wood, a wood, uh, Gonna leave some space between the rows so I can get in there. Yep. That's it. So we'll bring back another sap sapling pallet and get this planted overnight. I'll see you guys once I'm done. And that should be enough for to start replacing what we've chopped. Because like I said, we've only taken down maybe, maybe 30 trees at the most. I'd say probably more like 20 um, or less. So I will get back with you guys uh, in the morning. We'll see how the crops are doing. I think tomorrow we should be able to harvest, so it'll it should tell us right away. Like, hey, it's harvest time. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, so we're gonna plant these trees, and then we're gonna let time continue to pass on fast. But I'm gonna take a look real quick. I'm having issues. You probably noticed in the videos, kind of choppy here and there, and I I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. I might switch over to the record with shadow play. The downside with shadow plays is that the files are huge. So, um, you know, the half an hour episodes. Plus, you, I don't think you can, you can. You can pause, I think, can't you? Yeah, it has the pausability. <coughs> it do. At least this tractor is big enough to just kind of plow right over the top of the stumps. Got a lot of little trees here, too. <coughs> so we've done our we've done our good deed for the day, and we have uh, replanted trees that we cut down, and we'll have a nice forest coming in there. But we should stump grind too once we get the chance, because that's it's gonna be it's not gonna be impossible. I usually just walk in there, but pulling the logs out it's gonna be difficult. So we'll figure it out. All right, folks, I'll be back uh, in a little bit here once the crops are ready to harvest. So we'll see you in just a minute. Well, I've made some graphical changes. I don't know if you guys will notice right away, but my, for some reason my frame rates were getting really bad. So I've switched my recording over to the processor instead of the video card, and that should alleviate some of the problem. You can see here where the day before uh, harvest is supposed to start, and 
we have rain. I'm hoping it clears up tonight, and that we'll have a sunny day tomorrow so that we can start the harvest, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, fine. Okay, so anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, so we woke up this morning, and while it is still cloudy, oh, yeah, grab one. Uh, oh, they're too expensive. Uh, while they're still, while it's still cloudy, um, it has stopped raining. So we're going to go ahead and get the harvester out and we're going to start working these fields. We got wheat, we got barley and we got hopfen hops. So we're going to get our crop brought in. And, uh, so I'll get the process started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get the harvester ready. And so we'll hop over the garage and I'll meet you there. So I think the, uh, ouch, I think the hops are the coolest crop. So we'll go ahead and start with those. Here's our gorgeous Class Lexicon 8900, and uh, so let's go ahead and get that guy started up. Why are you hurting me? Look at that gorgeous cab. It is a serious machine. Machine. Let's go ahead and get this thing out onto the field. There's our gorgeous harvest all ready to go in. We got wheat, barley, and hops. And so we're going to go ahead and grab this guy. I'm going to hire a worker and get him running. It's not boring. It's exciting. It's harvest day, dear. And then we will uh, get our truck out there to collect. I know. You are. But you're a cute jerk. Ouch. Ow! You can't say I'm such a jerk and then not let me agree with you and smack me. Yes, no, you can't. That's not fair. Yes, it is. is that fair, folks? I say no. Life's not fair. Get over it. That's true. Life's not fair, and then you die. Oh, say the dry. <laughs> That's so cool. That That's pretty sweet, actually. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna park here and see if we can get the harvester header without. Uh, Dropping, falling into the lake. Yeah, you really smacked me hard. That was mean. Oh, I like the way that, that... Ouch! The auger pops up. The frick! Stop it. Ow! Serves you right. Ow! I'm going to drive into the lake. Stop it. Ow! All right. There we go. So what am I rabbiting on about? Rabbit, rabbit. What? There we go. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look. What was that, the eight? How much is it now? Still 200, huh, probably? Oh, wow, that's really good, actually. I don't know. I don't know enough about the new the new ones to know if the, if the action's like full featured or. No, oh no, the crops are still wet. Son of a biscuit. This is the new seasons thing, so we gotta watch. Oh, it shows on the thing actually that the crops are wet. Look at that. So we're gonna have to fast forward time until they dry out. Well, that's okay because we can get our truck out here. You know what? I'm going to harvest that tree. Look at that. Ooh. No. Yes. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to turn that off. We'll leave the bright, the lights on, and we're going to grab... <laughs> Dear, get yourself under control. Yes. This is going to pull our auger. The official Stara Auger, sponsor of Arthur Chapman's YouTube. Man, I haven't heard from them in forever. I need to check with Daniel, see how he's doing. He's such a nice guy. What are you doing, Babs? That's not normal, dear. So our crop fin is wet fin.
<laughs> She's got a new Moni song going on. This tractor might be a little bit of overkill for the Reboke Ninja 3300, but... Sounds delicious. All right, so we turn that off. So that's ready. And let's find our other tractors. Or this truck. Numel. So we'll be using this drop quite a bit today. Uh, these We're going to empty the trucks into that facility. And then... We'll take it over to... We'll take the various crops over to their... Uh, their... Asking facilities. Once we're done with the... Uh, completely done with the harvest. We'll use the truck to transport it over there. So this is kind of a reverse uh, Rocky Mountain double. <laughs> All right, so we'll park this guy here. There we go. And so now we're just waiting for the crops to dry. So I will get back with you guys once that's done um, happening so we can start our harvest. And so it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and our crops have finally dried out. I decided to switch tractors on our auger wagon because the Xerion is just overkill for that wagon, the Xerion. So I'm bringing out the, uh, the smaller, still large, 870 uh, to the field, and we're going to pop this in place of that Xerion. I'm also going to bring our van out. We're going to use the van to move the header trailers around. Um, by the way, sorry about the drifting joystick. My, We, we did order a new one. Uh, it should be here tonight, but uh, for right now, we're just kind of dealing with the drift. Uh, my, my joystick got damaged on the way over so uh, from my, on my trip to the UK, so it's, it's, uh, it's damaged. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the harvester out there started, and then we'll bring the van up to work the header trailer, because the header trailer's getting all messed up. And let's see if we can get this thing out of here without whacking the trees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty good. And without whacking the header trailer. Wasn't that bad, was it? Were you gagging the whole time? She made me current. Uh, they've got this cur current juice called Vimto, and uh, I've I've learned that you can actually. Would you move, idiot? You can actually put milk in it, milk and current in the in the Vimto. Uh, it's like a concentrate, and so you put a little bit in a cup and then put water in it. But if you put milk in, it's like making strawberry milk, but even better tasting. It's really freaking good. All right, let's see how this goes. There we go. And that is the correct header for these crops. As you can see here, we're picking up hops. Not a lot, man. They're kind of thin. I like the way they just plop over. There goes the hops into the bin. Let's go ahead and hire a worker. And it is a little bit choppy. That's just how the game is. Sweet. It's an interesting crop to harvest. This is what your view would be. Like, how do you cope with that? I guess you just look down the row. Well, that's pretty intense because the crops are so tall they're above your your cab. Actually, it's filling up pretty quick. It'll probably be like one, one and a half passes and it'll be full. So 
Let's go ahead and find our van. And we will uh, bring the van over for our header trailer. It's this way. No, nope, this way. There we go. <laughs> it's at the house. So I'm going to hop into the Ford van and drive over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a lizard. The Lizard Rumbler. It's definitely a Ford. <laughs> I like driving this van for some reason. It feels like you're really driving a car. There's our gorgeous harvester. That thing's just a beauty. Awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, you're missing stuff. Oh, come back. Well, we'll clear it off when the worker's done. Yeah, my farm's causing some serious frame rates here. This is what I'm noticing with farm sim lately. Some frame rate, framey rate issues. Hi, Alfie. I'll feed the <laughs> Yes. He's pretty darn cute. Okay, so you can see the trailer's already got messed up. I'm going to straighten that back out. I don't know, man. That's a pretty big trailer for that van, but in real life it wouldn't be a problem. But in the game with the physics the way they are, the, it gets choppy. You gonna take a nappy? Ah. Playing with the doggy wogs. Hopefully he won't fill. Let's see, how full is it? Uh. Oh, he's not going to make it all the way down this row. That sucks. We'll have to, we'll have to pull it back out. What can, what can you do? I was hoping it would make it a full trip, but looks like I'm going to have to fill them out as they come down all the way. So I'm going to have to, each row I'm going to have to unfill them as they go. Or unload them as they go. So we'll pick it up. Let's see. We'll end at that end. So what we're going to do is we're going to, while we're waiting, this time I'm just going to have to wait till he's full. So, yep, and there he goes. Nearly a full tank. So in the meanwhile, we're going to make a U-turn here. down here each time. Let's see, the tractor spigot's on. It goes to the right. So we're going to want him here, I think. I can't believe she missed all those hops. Fired. All right, so there's that. And she's reached capacity, so we're gonna we're gonna back this thing around here. Let's see. I need to unhire the worker. And look at the hops in there. That's pretty cool. Like a totally different texture. So we'll park that right there like that. out here and grab our star -a wagon and we're gonna go ahead and pick this guy up and we're gonna have to make a u-turn <laughs> all 
All right. Oh, look at it's like look how long that pipe is. Yikes. That's because you have the bigger header. I'm gonna go ahead and unload this. And I'm gonna go up when I do this. I'm gonna the lexicon. I'm gonna take it and finish off that row there that's got missed. We'll fix that. I'll fix you. There we go. That's funny how far away it puts you. So let's see a full load of the harvester. Let's see how full this gets. I think it was 14,000 something. No, 15. No, even more. 16. Whoa. 17. Oh, 18,000. So like right about half, a little bit over half. So rough. Rough. So let's go ahead and get this thing working. All right. I'm going to chop all this down. Don't want to miss all these hops. <laughs> you know me. I have to get every little bit. Now our goal is to get to be get to be get. Blah, 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 blah. Our goal is to plant these fields with oilseed radish, ASAP, so that we can plow it under and get a, a free layer of fertilization without having to use chemicals. Um, you know, eventually we might open a cow farm and then we can get, or maybe even do silage. Probably a cow farm though, and get slurry. It's gonna make it. So if we head down here, so we're just gonna have to stick with the harvester and, and uh, follow it all the way down each time. There we go. Hire a worker. All right. Good luck to you. Fred, whoever's running it. And what we'll be doing is we'll follow the harvester down to the end of the row and then pick him up with this and then we'll unload on the way back and we'll keep it running like that. Roof. Flip the back one first. We're going to have to make a lot of trips with these hof, hops going to the uh, the brewery. Cool. So our first truck transfer has been successful. That guy's about to turn around, so we're going to slow down here. Was it 10? Or 11, somewhere around there for the speed. So I'm excited they finally have the lexicon in use. What are they doing? Oh, that looks the correct way to do things. <laughs> um, fired. And oh. they're going to miss a whole section of it. That's great. Don't know why I'm getting those notifications, but that's annoying to have that on my screen. Hold on, folks. All right. Took care of that, but I gotta get into the web browser and shut that off. 
I hate notifications. What are you? <laughs> Fail. No, slow down. Oh, God. Ten is usually the right speed, so we're gonna let him pull forward a little bit. There we go. Good, good, good. So this is what we need to do. We'll just stick with him for each time he comes down the field. We can actually pick him up kind of towards the end, but we can also follow him all the way down, chase him down. I have a feeling what's going to happen, though, is we're going to... This may not work. I might need a bigger hopper. But maybe a second trailer for my truck. The whole point's to keep the flow going, you know. I smell turd. I think a dog just either pooped or farted. Hopefully everyone's having a nice Thanksgiving. This is Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, this episode probably will be out after that, but maybe I'll get it up today. We'll see. Good time to harvest Thanksgiving. It's a little late, but... <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, we're going to fill up this truck really fast. So we're going to have to have brakes in between because it's just not going to it's not going to work out the way I wanted it to. But it's great. It's actually good news. We want all this stuff. Wow, that's full already. It is a small hopper, but still So what I'm thinking is I'm going to pull about halfway down and we're going to run as fast as we can and empty that truck out and get it back down to the field here. Hopefully we'll catch the harvester on the downswing and uh, unload him before he fills up all the way. Although if he stops on the way down, it's not that big of a deal. But He'll be over halfway full when he goes past here. So Let's get the truck, get the truck, get the truck. Mm, run, run, run. Come on, Artie. You can do this. Needs plowing. Uh, the hops. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna they're gonna need plowing because they're like corn. We'll get these over into our silo. We've got 35,000 liters of hops with the field about 20% done. So we've got quite some work ahead of us, but uh, we'll get this, this done. Quite a bit of work. October is fast approaching. Time for the, all the beer we've made to be sold. The annual Oktoberfest is on its way. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're going to dump this off and hopefully get back out there. He's still, I can see the harvester. He's still working his way down. So we're not, all hope is not lost. Oh, Lord. 
Slight problem. Looks like we can't put hops in our silo, so we're going to take them right to the brewery. Cover them up. Get out on the road. So we might want to buy a third one of these Kroger's and uh, do a triple train. Oh, that'd be kind of rough to manage on these small roads. I don't even know where these go. I'd imagine back here somewhere. Yeah, right here. That'll work. Yep. That's the unload Hopfen space. Come on. Oh, sure, now he's going to trigger it. Like right in that little spot. So it's like this really narrow area where it triggers it. That's funny. What? Is the what? Is the brewery full? Nope, it's just not doing a good job overloading. Okay, I'll have to change the tipper side too. We're gonna tip. We don't want the tippers colliding into each other. Oh, stupid camera. Okay, because we need to fix. Uh, let's see. Can I change tip side on that? Tip side back. You. Tip side left. Okay. All right, back out there. Well, we've missed the harvester, so it's going to be stuck halfway down. You'll see. It'll fill up before it makes it all the way down the row again, so we'll have to unload it halfway, do halfway down the field, but that's okay. That's just how it's going to go. At least we figured out where to put the hops, so. so I was like, uh-oh. Helper C has a full grain tank. Yep, we're here just in time. Helper C's really screwed up the end of the field, too. <laughs> God. Uh, probably because the road is there, I think, and that's why he's doing that. All right, let's move, move, move. This is where having two people or three people would help, would help. You know, one person to run the hopper, one person to run the harvester, and one person to run the, the truck. Whoa. All right, so let's get this under. Sweet. And once he's full up, we'll follow him down to the end so that he's not full again. So, new harvester is working out great. Uh, I'm very happy with the way that that happened. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and finish the hops here. Um, you know, and I'll pop this episode up. And then we'll move on to the other two crops. And I'll bring you guys back in for that so we can see the class working with its uh, header. And, uh, and then we'll get the brewery running. And get the malts facility running too. We'll have to we'll have to start with the malts, and then um, we'll put the we'll put the wheat there next and get water in there. And I think it's just wheat and water at the at the malts facility, and then we'll put the barley into the factory and add water, and we should have along with the malts, and we should be ha having our beer start being produced. So, all right, guys. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. We will be continuing our hard work here on the uh, Kloss Farm as harvest is here. And we are going to be, you know, making lots of beer.
with all these hops and wheat and barley. <laughs> might be a little short on wheat. We might have to buy some wheat to continue. We'll, we'll see how the malt supplies last. Uh, I also might deliver some of the barley to the... Um, we'll see how fast the, the factory gets full. We'll, we'll deliver the rest. If, if the factory fills up, we'll deliver the rest of it to the malts uh, facility so that we can kind of spread it out. Uh, but anyway, have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, always help, and we'll see you next time on Kloss Brewery Farm.